When I arrived in Malta, I was 16 and a half going 17. I went through Uganda, South Sudan, North Sudan, the Sahara Desert, and finally Libya. My arrival in Malta was the end of an already very difficult chapter in my life. And as immediately after getting out of detention, I started working. I've worked in construction, I've worked in washing dishes at different restaurants, and that is how I got myself to the point where I am today. And from then on, I had to find my way because I did not want to be labeled a burden. There's no integration policy in Malta for, for migrants, uh, for refugees to integrate and become a part of society. The government system does not have therapy, for example, for migrants who have gone through a lot of trauma coming here. I went to therapy, not offered by the government, but by an NGO. And my, my psychologist was like, okay, wouldn't it be nice if you love writing to write down what you're going through and your emotions and what you're feeling? The book is about my life story growing up, the different challenges that I faced. It's, it's, it's like my diary, it's like my journey, it's like my therapy. It's a book that's funded by Copin, by Terre des Hommes International, the Destination Unknown Campaign, the International Organization for Migration, uh, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, and the Malta Arts Fund. I always knew growing up that there would come a point in my life when I would write a book. I used to say it when I was five years old. I used to say it when I was six years old. I used to say it growing up. Like I always knew because I loved reading and writing so much. I loved the lang I love I loved the English language so much. Never arrive. My mom would always tell me this. She had a problem with the word arrive because in her mind it meant developing a comfort zone and not aiming for better. Malta is not my end destination. I want to move on. I have passed from my native Somalia to Kenya where I grew up, to Malta that helped me to find myself. Indeed, as my mother likes to say, variety is the spice of life.